Hello, my lovelies, it's Zena, and today I want to show you how to calculate this expression without a calculator. 2025 squared minus 1, and all of this divided by 2024. Okay, the numbers are really large, so I don't want to calculate 2025 squared, then subtract 1, and then divide all of this by 2024. So there has to be a way that makes life easier here. And if we take a look at the denominator first, there is just 2024 in here. Maybe we cannot really do something with it. But if we take a look at the numerator, we have a structure here. 2025 squared minus 1. Does this structure remind you of something? Maybe it gets easier if we write the 1 as 1 squared here. Because we can do that. 1 is the same thing as 1 squared. So we don't change uh, the, the, the expression here. But now we have something squared minus something squared. This is the difference of squares. So if we have something like a squared minus b squared, what do we have here? Something squared minus something squared. Then we can always write this as a product of two parentheses. In the first parentheses we have a plus, here we have a minus, and then we have the first part of this difference, so the a here as the first part here and the first part here, and the second part of this difference, the b, it is here as the second part and here as the second part as well. And we're going to use this now to write our difference of squares here as this product. So we have two parentheses that are multiplied by each other. In one we have a plus, in the other one we have a minus, and then we just take the numbers without the squares and the 2025 goes in here first and also here, and then the second number without the square, the one goes in here and here. And we don't change anything with the 2024. We like it so far. Now, the numbers are easier to calculate. We don't want to uh, multiply these two now, but we have a sum in here and a difference in here, and we can just calculate these numbers because 2025 plus 1 just equals 2026. Then we have the multiplication symbol, and here 2025 minus 1 just equals 2024. And we still have our 2024 in the denominator. Now, because we have a multiplication here, we are allowed to reduce this fraction. We have 2024 here, 2024 here, we can cancel it out, and the only thing that is left is our re result of 2026, and we solved this problem. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, it helps me a lot. I wish you a wonderful day, and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care!